Corey Eliasson and Austin McCall right behind him. They approach the white line. Our championship race sees the green. It is the 27 of Emerson Axum who got the initial jump. He's got a car length advantage, but here comes Courtney. Tyler Courtney now to the outside. He'll take the lead down the back straightaway. Austin McCarl until your top three cars beginning to pull away. Eliasson in that fourth spot. Jamie Ball up to fifth, but Tyler Courtney will lead lap one. But here comes Emerson Axum. Emerson Axum now beginning to pull away from Tyler Courtney in the second spot. Nose to tail. Oh, car upside down in turn number three and four. Chase Randall, red flag. So Randall gets up over the cushion and tags the fence with the right rear. Boy, the fuel tank came off early in that one. There you see it bouncing away. And the green flag's waving. We are back to racing. And Axum will quickly gain several car lengths again over Courtney. Corey Elias on the inside trying to get around the 88 of Austin McCarl. Austin McCarl will hang on to the third spot. Elias slips back to four. Jamie Ball cracks into the top five now. Brian Brown now to the outside of Caleb Johnson. That would be the race for the ninth spot. Oh, Tasker Phillips smacks the wall. We stay green, but they'll box him up down the back straightaway. While that's happening in the field, Emerson Axum is pulling ahead by a second and a half over Tyler Courtney. Macedo trying to get by. Tyler Gronendijk, their nose to tail at the flag stand. Gronendijk to the cushion. Macedo through the middle. Big battle off of two. Gronendijk has it. Brian Brown's going to follow him. He'll get by Macedo as well. Tyler Courtney within five. Carling senior leader now four as they race through three and four. Emerson Axum back to the cushion. Now their nose to tail for the lead at the flag stand. Tyler Courtney goes three wide, pulls it inside of Emerson Axum, and Axum rides the cushion and holds the top spot. Tyler Courtney closing back in, nobody in between himself, and Axum, Axum gets trapped on the bottom. Courtney's going to take the lead on the outside. Boy, Emerson Axum had to get on the brakes. He and Carson McCarl nearly got together. It cost him the lead in turn number four. Now Tyler Courtney shows the way. He'll go to the outside of Carson McCarl as they work in at turn number two. Emerson Axum now, a lap car between he. Oh, boy, they nearly do it again in turn three. Your leader behind two lap cars down the back straightaway toward turn number three. Courtney to the cushion. The lappers slide right up. Look at the sparks fly off the brakes. Courtney has to stab the brakes in turn number four to avoid the lap car. Justin Peck, the car right ahead of him as they work to the top of turn number two. Emerson Axum not able to strike as he's still a fair bit back from your leader as they work through turn number two. He's trying to close in on Axum. Axum cannot get by Carson McCarl. He'll try the middle this time, slide to the cushion, try to look to the outside. Carson McCarl strong off the bottom of turn number four in the Jetco 27. Axum this time tries to put the slider on him to get by. He'll do it in turn number two. Here comes Austin McCarl. At 88 is now closed in. He's within striking distance of Emerson Axum. If he can get around that 27 of Carson McCarl. A straightaway, the advantage over first and second place. Zeb Wise pulls the 26 car to the infield. This time by, the white flag will be out. One to go for Tyler Courtney. If Emerson Axum wants it, he's going to have to come and get it. Final time, down the back straightaway for Tyler Courtney. He's won the King's Royal. And tonight, he'll work his way off of turn number four and win the 360 Knoxville Nationals. Tyler Courtney is your winner. As he heads up top, ladies and gentlemen, your 360 Nationals champion, Sunshine, Tyler Courtney. Yeah, Jake, uh, Jake and the boys, man, they, they've, uh, They've had a lot of work cut out from the last couple of weeks. We ran two cars last weekend and went home and you know finished up our 410, 410 car and you know got this one freshened up, ready to go again. And um, yeah, to come here this weekend, um, really and you know I don't really have a lot of expectations. We come here and get laps and, and confidence and just get in the mood for for the, our biggest week of the week next year or year next year and uh, <laughs> next week. Sorry, I'm all screwed up. Uh, Thirty thousand dollars will do that to you. Yeah, just. Uh, just, man, that was a really, really good race car. Our Nostrum and Drinks, Fire Motorsports, LA's Custom Trailers car was good all weekend, but I feel like we were really good there in the feature.